Hi guys, it's Sarah here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this very cool looking um, effect in Affinity Designer just by using simple lines and applying multiple strokes. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is give the page a background color. I am going to do a dark purple, and I'm going to get rid of that stroke on there by default first. And I'm going to give it a, not that purple, I'm going to go for a slightly darker purple. I have a very specific color scheme in mind. Hmm, let's go with that, maybe. Okay. So now I'm just going to draw a simple line using the pen tool. So I'm going to grab the pen tool and, uh, you know, I want to have it right in the middle here so I can move my pen until the green line shows up and just draw a simple line. All right. So I've got a line and I'm going to make it a nice yellow with a stroke of about, let's see, maybe, maybe 25, 25 point stroke. All right, I think that I like that color. I could go slightly more yellow, but I think maybe I'll just leave that there for now. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is add additional strokes to the outside of this line. And to do that, I'm gonna go into View, Studio, and then Appearance. Now with the Appearance panel open, uh, you can see here at the bottom, you can either add more stroke or add fill. And I, we're not touching on the add fill today, we're doing add stroke. So we're going to add a stroke to this stroke and then we're going to continue to add strokes and strokes and more and hopefully it's going to look really awesome. So right now I'm going to go add stroke and you see it adds a new stroke in right there. So just clicking on the color and I think I'm going to go for like a nice orange color and nothing's showing up quite yet. But you got to go into here and you can change the amount around in here. And since the other stroke was 25, I'm going to put this one at 50, I think. Most of this I'm just going to eyeball um, and I'm going to actually move this down here so it goes or it shows up underneath the other stroke. But if you see, it's not, yeah, I think I need to go a bit higher with this, with the, uh, the stroke size because I want either side of the, um, of the, this darker orange color to be about the same width as the inside one. So I think maybe we'll go to, what do you think, 75? How do I math here? That's how I math. Okay, 75, that's perfect. So we're gonna be going up in 50 point increments every time. All right, so we've got our nice colors. And what I'm going to do next is basically the same thing. I'm gonna add a stroke yet again, bring that down to here, double click on the color. I'm gonna go with a, with a red maybe, and then bring this up to uh, 125, yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to think for the mathematical calculations in my head and honestly, I'm terrible at math. So even like simple math, it's, this could get interesting. So I'm, I'm mostly eyeballing it to make sure that it works and ending my numbers with fives because that's like a nice grade five level math stuff to do. Okay, and you see I've got like my, my little rainbow here. So uh, next, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add another stroke. So we can click, click add stroke and just drag and pull it down there and figure out the color. Now I've got a red color. What about this pinky color? Maybe we'll go for that pinky color and then bring it up to, last one was 125, so this should be 175. Good. However, it's not really working with the uh, the color. So I'm gonna just adjust it in here. So when you're, when you're in this color area, you can go for, for swatches, color, or gradient. Um, I haven't experimented with the gradient, but I'm just gonna stick it to uh, a very simple color palette here. And uh, let's see, what do we want? We want it to be, I think maybe slightly darker than this red color. So I'll just bring this down. Oh, hey, that's kind of nice. Right there, but with a little more, a little more red, perhaps. No, I liked the kind of bluey purple thing. Okay, there we go. Right there. All right. So I like where this is going now. Can you guess what I'm going to do next? I'm going to add yet another stroke and bring it down. And this time, this time, what do we do? I think I'm going to go, well, that was what we had. So let's go on to, 
And there's no point adjusting that until I've, I can actually see it. So 175 plus 50 is, is that 225? Yes, whew, okay. This is, this is, there's a lot of anxiety in the math here involved for me. So let's see, uh, now we can go into the color and the color's actually not bad there. Let's do a slightly more purple. Cool. And then we're going to add another stroke. And this one, we are going to do a color first. And we'll do, click on that purple and make it, I guess, bluier and purplier. And then go back into the point size and make it uh, 275. There we go. Now, I don't really like that purple. But maybe I will if I adjust it just a bit more. Just get a bit more bit more red in there there we go okay yeah okay mm. there we go okay now I like that so I've got this really nice sort of uh, yellow to purple rainbow color color that I like and I could be done but I think I'm gonna add one more at least at least one more stroke here and I'm gonna bring that down and double click on it and this was my most recent color so I'm gonna go in back into color and Mm, okay, well, I've got something in there, but I need to adjust this. So let's bring it into, or the width, and we will select uh, 275 plus 50, 350. Uh, okay, no, 350 was too much. It was 325. That's the number. 325. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. And let's bring that. Actually, no, I think we should go darker. We should go down to that purple, but then darker. Like right there. No, no, no green. Oh, hey, actually, that's kind of nice. Okay. Let's see. Do I need to have more, more purple, I think, in there? A little bit more purple. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, and then I want... I'm just going to make sure... I have this color saved. Where do I find that color? I think that's, is that this one up here? I think so. So I'm gonna make the background. So it is this color, but just slightly darker. So you can still see that very last little stroke in there. There we go, nice, nice, super dark purple. And that is pretty much it. So I'm going to zoom out here and you can see I've got my really cool abstract line thing going on and I really like how this looks and uh, it gets even cooler when you realize what you can do with this. So Affinity Designer still treats this as one single line, which means you can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can move it all about the place, you can, you know, get crazy, like making it diagonal, which it's really not crazy, but it looks great, doesn't it? It looks super great. But what you can do to make it really crazy is you can add an additional point. Um, and now I think I can actually just click on it with uh, what tool? With the direct selection. And I think that's about the middle here. So I'm going to put an anchor point there and then I'm going to move it. Oh yeah, I'm bending that line. And then I can do it over here and I can bend that line too. And then we can just adjust it like this. Oh, and we can do really crazy things like this. And I really, really like how when it when the line moves over top of itself, it, um, I mean, it still applies the stroke to the entire line shape rather than intersecting, if that makes any sense. But you can see what it's doing. And I really like how it does that. Um, let's back that up a bit because that was a bit excessive. And just bring this over here. And yeah. So that's pretty much it. You can, you can do this, uh, this stroke effect to basically anything. As far as I know, the amount of strokes that you can apply to something is uh, basically infinite. So um, I could be wrong. I will find out. Um, but uh, so far, I haven't had a limit on it. And I mean, you could just pretty much keep it going until you get it right to the edge out here. And that could be very cool. But I like my, my yellow to purple kind of blend. It's it's kind of nice. It's like something's shooting right through there. It's like vivid and electric, and I, I really like that. Um, and you can do this with uh, fonts or uh, with letters, rather. And uh, as long as you convert them to curves, you can add strokes. And um, yeah, what else do I need to tell you? This is uh, it's pretty much it. 
So go in and play around with it. Use, uh, use simple lines, use shapes. Um, I don't know if there's a way to copy an effect. Um, for example, if you like this effect, um, how do you copy that to another line or another shape, for example? I'm not sure if you can do that, um, but I mean, if you can't do it now, I'm sure Affinity Designer will probably add that in the future. Um, or maybe you can do it now, and I just don't know how to do it. Um, I, but I, I do know how to do this, so I'm quite proud of making this little fancy thing. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I encourage you to go in and experiment with this very, very cool tool or function or whatever you want to call it in Affinity Designer and make some very cool effects and uh, play around with the colors and as, as many strokes on an object as you can possibly make. And then once you've done that, you know, just, just go in and, and duplicate the shapes like this and do crazy things like using the blend modes. And then what, what are we going to do? We can, we can do some crazy stuff like uh drum roll if i put that on top see look at that or that hey i mean that's pretty cool right yeah you know that's cool that looks very cool i like that um that's weird don't do that one just don't do it and there we go yeah okay so things got really weird and i love it let's just bring those out ta-da you're welcome. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else you want me to do a video on in Affinity Designer, please just let me know in the comments and I will try to cover it whenever I have a chance. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.